Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, Gone Baby Han here. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to take some time out of my day to tell you guys about a movie coming out this summer that I'm really, really excited for. And that is Man of Steel. Um, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I think initially, after I saw the third and final trailer, that's really what got me pumped for this film. Um... I've always been a big Superman fan, but I think I'm more of a big uh, Batman and Spider-Man fan, but I do love Superman. Uh, I do. I remember the old Richard Donner uh, movie, uh, the Christopher Reeves uh, movie, Superman uh, 1, 2, um, 3, and 4. Didn't really care for They're pretty awful, but um, Superman Returns I thought was okay, but uh, didn't really feel like it lived up to the original uh, Superman films. But this new one, it looks like it's definitely taking itself seriously and has a totally new approach. Um, plus, with Christopher Nolan being one of the executive producers of this film, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, um, he totally reinvented Batman for a new generation, and I think with him and Zack Snyder working together, I mean, Zack Snyder did 300, Watchmen, um, I think this is going to be something really awesome. Uh, plus... From what I'm getting, just like the whole like overarching theme of this film or what it's going to be, um, it seems like this movie is going to be about hope. Because, you know, in the in the new trailer, there's that scene where it shows uh, Lois, you know, giving Superman his first interview while he's like arrested or whatever. And, you know, she's like, what's the S stand for? And he's like, it's not an S. On my planet, it means ho it means uh, hope. And, uh, you know, I think that that's what the whole point of this movie is, and I think that's cool because there's not enough movies out there right now that give people hope and, like, you know, um, make people feel good. Like, I think this is going to be, like, the feel-good movie of the summer. Um, even though it's a superhero film, I think it'll be a really good uh, dramatic film, too. Um, the casting looks really top-notch. Uh, initially, I wasn't really excited about a British actor, uh, Henry Cavill, uh, playing Superman. But after seeing the first three trailers and hearing him in interviews and seeing his uh, panel at Comic-Con, I mean, I wasn't actually at Comic-Con, but I watched it on the, uh, the panel on the internet, um, I think that this is going to be a really, really good, different approach to Superman and uh, Clark Kent. Um, and he, he definitely looks the part. I mean, he definitely bulked up for the role. And, uh, he looks like he's going to be, like, a really good, honest, like, you know, charming, you know, Superman and Clark Kent. Um, Russell Crowe as Jor-El looks fantastic. Um, those scenes in the third trailer where he's saying goodbye to Kal-El, and I mean, that just looks like a really, really good scene, um... And Crypt, uh, Krypton looks really cool. Um, it looks like it's got like these weird like biomechanical flying things and all kinds of ships. Like it wasn't just like you know the um, the implosion that destroyed Krypton, but it looks like there was a war or like a civil war going on, which I think in some of the uh, later comics I think there was, um, like in Superman Birthright and other things. Um, Kevin Costner and Diane Lane as. Uh, Jonathan and Martha Kent, I think, are fantastic casting choices as well. Uh, I always that every time I see the third the third and newest trailer where uh, it shows uh, young Clark Kent, like he's like eleven or twelve, and you know uh, Jonathan tells him, you know, you're 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 the answer, son. You're the reason to why are we alone in the universe. And you know, little Clark Kent's like, oh, can I just keep pretending I'm your son? And uh, you know. Uh, Kevin Costner's like, you know, you are my son, and, like, hugs him, and I was just like, oh, God, like, just making me, making me tear up a little bit. That looks like a, like a really good, uh, again, like, I, I definitely feel like this film is gonna be a very good dramatic film, um, and it looks like it's, it's taking a new approach to superhero films that they're not these big, loud, epic action films. They, they, they actually have purpose and meaning and drama and, you know, um, and, you know, gravity. Um, I, 
I don't know how Michael Shannon is going to do as Zod. Uh, to, I mean, he's got a lot to live up to with Terrence Stamp and Superman 2 as Zod. He was so good. But uh, Michael Shannon is amazing in Boardwalk Empire. Uh, he was great in Take Shelter. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, I was, I was watching an interview for him online the other day where he was talking about how his mindset behind playing Zod was that he, he you know, Zod is a general. And, you know, generals are capable of, of causing great destruction and, and uh, you know, death with the power that they have at their disposal. But at the same time, there's been great leaders uh, that were generals in our, in our own history, like, you know, General Patton and, and uh, you know, General MacArthur. Um, you know, we'll see... Uh, how this movie pans out as it stands, I'm I'm totally excited for it. Oh, um, I just found this out last week. Starting May 18th, if you go to your local Walmart, um, May 18th at 8 a.m., they're gonna do an, uh, a local first day screening for The Man of Steel, um, June 13th. So you get to see it like not at midnight, but like I think it's like 10 o'clock, like the day before. So you get to see it like before anyone else. It's exclusive. But you have to be there at Walmart May 18th at 8 a.m. Like, and I'm sure when I get there, there's going to be a huge-ass line. But uh, I will get up early in the morning to get those tickets for sure. Um, and I don't know if this local screening... I guess I'll find out when I get there on May 18th. I don't know if it's going to be IMAX. Um, I guess it really just depends on which theater is going to be hosting that uh, event. But, you know, I would hope, I would hope it would be IMAX 3D because I really would like to see this film in all its IMAX uh, glory. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts and, the, and predictions on the new Man of Steel. Um, I'm really, really excited for this. Probably behind... Actually, I think I'm more excited for this than Iron Man 3. I really want to see Iron Man 3 a lot. I love Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, but I think I may be more pumped for this just because there hasn't been a Superman film in like... Superman Returns that came... It was like seven years ago. So, I mean, and it's just... We need a good Superman film again. We need a good Superman. We need a good guy, a good actor to play Superman, and a good director, too. So I'm, I'm really excited the direction that they're taking with this character and with this license. And uh, you guys uh, share your thoughts and comments with me. Let me know what you think of the new trailer and the new approach that they're taking to the Man of Steel. And uh, I will uh, get back with you guys, all right? Uh, Y'all have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.